Hey projection mappers, this is Dan from Phillips Projections and you are watching one of the videos in my Luxedo tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be creating a simple candy cane trim. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new scene. Even though you can add this to any of your scenes, I'm going to start from scratch. Uh, make sure your projector is the right one. We don't need to click because we're creating within Luxedo and click create. Now to create this trim, we're going to use one of the effects that I have in my folder. So we're going to start off by naming our layer. So rename and we are going to make this trim and click submit. And you're going to want to get in pretty close as you're going. So I'm going to you know, make my way over and try to zoom in. So let me recenter and zoom in so I can get in closer with my mask. And here we go. I'm going to click on new mask and click trace because I want to be able to go around some angles. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on the corners that I want my trim to play. Go up and across. And then I'm going to close it by going back to this white circle. And now I have a trim there and I can go to polygon so I can see my mask is right on and I can fine tune if I really need to um, maneuver it. And then I will call this one garage trim. Click save. And then I'm going to create another trim. So let's say I want the top. So I'm going to go ahead over to the top here and I'm going to zoom in a bit and click new mask, trace, start at a corner, go to the other corner, up and across and then back down to close it and I'm going to name the second floor and you're just going to keep doing this over and over as you're going so I'm going to click circle or I'm going to click save and I see my layer zero I had to reset so I'm going to just rename this real quick back to trim all right so you can see that I have my garage trim, my second floor trim. So I'll just go back to my garage trim and select trim there because it looks like that reset on me too. All right, so now I have two active masks that are going in my trim here and I'm just going to keep adding them as I go. So I'm going to want this one down here, but I'm not going to make you wait for me to go through the masks. Just know that this is a process. All right, so I'm going to speed this up. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying the tutorial so far. There is a lot of time and research that I put into all of these tutorials. It is great that we have platforms like this that I can help share and spread the knowledge these tutorials are ad supported and from donations from generous viewers like you. In an effort to further share the information, give a better experience for the viewers, share files and resources, as well as support the channel monetarily, I created a website and a course. The website houses a lot of information and resources from many great contributors in the projection mapping community. It is updated regularly as new useful resources become available. The course, that's another resource that is continuing to grow. It acts as an organized and ad-free experience. There is exclusive content and resources that are included with the course enrollment. 
For instance, the media used in the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation tutorial series? Well, that's in the course, included for free. You just need to click to download. The final platform is the store. In the store, you will find different resources that are available for purchase at reasonable prices. Keep an eye out for coupons and specials, especially during the off season. All of the funds that are raised are reinvested back into the growth of the channel through purchases of hardware, software, and other things that can be used to create new tutorials, reviews, and demonstrations. There are two free things that you can do right now to support the channel. Please like this video and subscribe below. The more likes and followers that we have, the more likely companies are to send loaner or demo resources for us to work with and share on this website, all free for you to access. I thank you for your time and consideration of supporting this channel. Please enjoy the remainder of your free tutorial. All right, now I have all my trims completed and I have them all masked to this trim layer. So the next step that I need to do is add the media in. So I'm going to go ahead and add media. I'm going to go to public media and scroll all the way down to Philips projections folder. Once you're in that folder, you're going to be clicking on striped trims. Here you have a bunch of different options right here red and green, red and white, and these are nice straight diagonal lines. These work well if you're just doing like those horizontal trims. In fact, they kind of work well for any of them. Um, but these red and white ones, these have kind of, sorry, these red and white and red and green ones, these kind of have like a little wave to them, which you can kind of see in this picture. And what that wave does is that really helps break up the verticals and makes it look a little better. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stay true to my candy cane and drag and drop this red and white over. Now, this is a one minute video, so you can choose to extend your scene. I'm not. So I'm going to click no and it will still come in for you. All right, so you can already see that the video is only showing up in where you have it masked. So I'm just going to drag from the corners and expand it out to cover the whole scene. If this is too stretched for your liking, what you can do is find like a natural spot of your house that you can match up. So I have this stop right there and then I'm going to go ahead and bring another video in. So I'm going to save that there. And then I'm going to bring another one in. Stripe trims, red and white, nope. And then I'm going to bring another one in that will fill up the rest of this space and try to keep it about the same size or at least pretty close to it as well. So this is how I create the candy cane effect. And let me go ahead and I'll play it for you. And there you go. You have your moving candy cane trim, which really pops and sets off a good, cool look on your house. So here you go. You have yourself a beautiful candy cane trim. I hope you learned something new in this video and maybe got some ideas that you could use in your own projection mapping show. This whole concept you can use with all different types of videos behind that would look really cool with trims. You would just make your trim masks and add a different video behind. If you would like to learn more about projection mapping using Luxedo, DaVinci Resolve, the Adobe Suite, then you can check out the other videos on my YouTube channel, Philips Projections. You can even take my course at holidayprojectionmapping.com or just poke around that constantly updated website. Make sure you like and subscribe to keep yourself updated and to support the channel. Thanks for your time. Have a good day.